In terms of shopping online, looking at the shopping and, and classified sector, um, auctions, it's driven by eBay. eBay has four of the top five websites um, within the auction sector, um, and they're responsible for about 87% of the auctions category. So it is a bit of an um, elephant in the room, if you like. And who would have thought 10 years ago that Trading Post would close down their, their printed, printed version? It just shows you the power of you know, what a relatively new brands have on changing the landscape that we operate in. And obviously there's a risk for any bricks and mortar company or established long-term heritage brand, whatever you might want to call it, uh, of new players disintermediating um, your business model and your customer base. Uh, rewards and directories is the second highest, which is comparison sites um, and review sites such as getprice, shopping.com.au, etc. And we're starting to see their, them increase not only um, more so slightly in share, but much more heavily in terms of the increase in traffic that they're generating through to the shopping classifieds. Um, department stores. Department stores. Um, the interesting thing we found with the department stores is there's only two heritage brands in the top ten of where people spend time online. So the, the, newer, the newer brands are capturing the audience. Um, in apparel, uh, it's a much more volatile category. It seems to jump around a lot more. Uh, Ross earlier stole my witchery thing from Tuesday morning's age, where they were talking about data analytics, giving them some great insights into how to talk to customers and how to understand what, what's going on. Um, if, you don't have, if you don't have Tuesday's age, I'll pass the link on to uh, David and um, you can disseminate that with the information later.